Today we're playing Duck Season. And Duck Season is unique because it's a game that I made over the last, I, a lot of people are like, like, what do you guys all do, right? Because we have so many people that come in here just watching Node. Uh, Sam and Nico do filmmaking. Dee does filmmaking and show runs Node. And myself, we have, I don't want to take credit. I didn't make this game by myself. But with these guys all over here, we have 10 guys over there and we do game development. So this is a game that uh, Alex and I direct using Alex on the channel and uh, then we just released it. It took us about a year to make it and we're gonna play it today. And Sam's gonna play first because you'll see why really soon. Uh, you guys remember we made Hover Junkers a year ago for the launch of the Vibe and that was like, a, that was like a, a multiplayer shooter and we made that at the time because nobody else was making multiplayer shooters. And actually when we started it, everyone's like, you can't make multiplayer shooters for VR. And we're like, yes you can, we'll make one. And so we made one and then fortunately, everybody else picked up that torch and there's a bunch of multiplayer shooters now. We've played a whole bunch of them. And uh, the whole time making it, we had fun making the multiplayer shooter but we're like, our calling, we're like, we really wanna make narrative stuff. And so we're like, for our second game, we're like, VR is still new. Let's make something that we probably won't be able to justify making later because it's so weird and like not the not the most inherently commercial thing in the world. Like, let's just take this opportunity to like just explore, try telling a story, try doing something you could only do in VR effectively. Hey, is that Kazoo Kid? That is the Kazoo Kid. <laughs> You play as the kazoo kid. Oh, you got duck season. Is that you? Yeah, it's me. One day <laughs> rental, so make the most of it. Oh, I will. Oh my god. This is the best cinematic I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, it's really good. Whoa. I like that. Dude, it's so artsy. Sam has no idea what's about to happen here. I love this. Which is why I love I'm very excited for this. Oh, He's skinny wrists. Hey, wait, Sam, look at the TV. Look at the TV. Season, so that means we got a lot of first time. <laughs> Sam's never seen this. I've never seen this either. Teach you how to use your shotgun today. All our shotguns come preloaded, so to start shooting, all you gotta do is wow. aim it and pull the trigger. I pulled Sam in the backyard the and we're like, we're filming a tutorial. And, and he's baby. like, okay. I didn't really tell him what, what it was gonna turn into. Ready to shoot. Just like that. <laughs> He's super easy. surreal. All you gotta do is put your hand up, summon a shell from your box, oh man, and put that baby into the chamber underneath the shotgun. Oh, <laughs> pump it one more time, and you're ready to go again. That's now professional. That's so great. Hunters, this like guy's describing it so well. <laughs> this guy, yeah, who, who so is that? Who is this, this literate left, man here? To the right. They're everywhere, man. <laughs> That's the best. fun, because remember, it's duck season. Dude, see, it's so dark. <laughs> wow. Wow. This is really surreal. It really sets the tone. <laughs> like, not only is it surreal in the game, it's extra surreal in real life, too. Yeah, so here's your, here's your living room. This is like one of our main environments. Oh, eat that thing. Never mind. Eat that. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> this is so good. Like, the style and everything in here is just incredible. Yeah, so as Hover Junkers had like really big worlds, this one we wanted to just make it like much smaller and instead push like the, the detail per square inch. Like, just try to like, like how, how maximized can we get the detail? Look behind you, Tim. All right, Shanna, focus on the ducks. I think you gotta rack that gun. Yeah. Nice. And the virus looks really good. Yeah. Dude, this dog is so awesome. Dude, <laughs> like the animation is so creepy on it. It's all uh, it's all using that uh, that perception neuron suit hey, really? with like a layer of a uh, layer of physics on top of it. So you notice like he kind of like that's like wobble to it. Yeah. And so the animation just has like this like. Dude, these physics. ducks in the truck. Give the dog a give the dog a shoot when you see him. Whoa, whoa! So that's you. You're David, the the kazoo kid. <laughs> um, and that's your living room outside of there. You can see outside your TV. So the idea was like we're like, all right, what can we do? We wanted to put you like inside of the TV, and we thought like kind of like Inception, whereas if you, if you put your not? VR headset on and then you go into the living room and then you go into the duck world and you play the game and then you come back out in the living room. You go in and you go out and you go in and you out in and out but you're always coming in, you'll like start to get more used to like, the living room is your real world. So I saw this in the trailer. I saw, you shot a dog in the trailer. Yeah, so we, we so everyone's wondering like, why haven't we played this game? Like, I wanted everybody, I didn't want to play it 
first. I wanted like everybody to have a chance to kind of like go at it clean, but the way the internet works, like the cat gets out of the bag really quick. So I guess I can just say it. The, in the inciting incident of the game is when you shoot the dog. Just about every game has a like, when you play through it 10 minutes in, your inciting incident, which is like the moment that kicks your story off, is forced on you. So we wanted to like, like what if we made a game where you have no inciting incident that's forced on you? So if you don't shoot the dog, oh, dude, he, he, never comes, he didn't like that at all. He yeah, never comes after you. you now. But if you do shoot him, that's the main inciting incident. So there's one ending where it's like, if you never, if you never shoot the dog, it's just like it goes through and you get told it's bedtime after a certain point. But if you do shoot the dog, that's like the key to everything else. This dog, he wants to be shot. Come on, dogs. You're toast. Dude, I love how his legs go flying. Yeah, he's got his little like, physics to the leg. Yeah, that's a plug-in called Puppet Master, so it's doing like a, it does like a bunch of ragdoll with it. Here, I'm gonna let, I, I'm gonna let someone else play. Cool. So you've seen yourself on the TV? Yeah, that's hilarious. The shader is Kevin's pride and joy. It's a really nice shader. Yeah, lean, lean in. Lean in, check out that TV. So this is this is oh, a wow. this is a trailer we shot for. Oh, wow. It looks really good. Wow. Hey mom, what are, you, what are you up to, mom? I like how I'm like a short little kid. Yeah, you're seven, <laughs> you're, seven, like you're seventy percent your scale right now. So you what can't can see the video. It's impossible to... for you to see like what the scale is, but in there, yeah, these these small. So whatever size you mom. are, you're like you're like this tall. Where's dad at? <laughs> that is a good question, isn't it, D? He's right there. Hmm. But yet he's not here, is he? Dad. Okay, so dad, we bought the home. Uh huh. I went on a trip with mom alone to the Mount Rushmore. To Mount Rushmore. I was at a rave. <laughs> it's the 80s mom school got married, kid photo. Yeah. Finally Wait, made. Is that the Bandit team. in the <gasps> back of the? Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> There's Bandit back there. It's Bandit mascot. Finally made the team. Wait, is that your dad? Yeah. So dad's a pro baseball player. Oh, he's a pro baseball player. Minor, minor leagues. On the minor team. leagues. He's playing baseball. Yeah, he got traded to a different team, and you're, the marriage kind of fell apart, and so he's you know, now you're just there with your mom. Nice. Oh, you have the TV blink with the gun shooting? Is that Holy you doing the mocap, shit, Brandon? Holy this gun is enormous. Oh, uh, that's Alex. Is that's the, Alex? Is the duck, yeah, as a dog, yeah. With the neuron suit? Mm-hmm. Get up to the dog and blast him, point blank. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, why don't you back up, freaky boy? Oh, that's really weird. <laughs> like, warps back in. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> Just like real life, the ducks freeze for 0.2 seconds after you shoot them. <laughs> that took a little bit. I'm like, okay, when you shoot the duck, I want it to freeze in place, but store its velocity, and then add a velocity for the gun, and then like reinitialize its velocity. So it's like it goes like, and then it's goes like, and then it flies The off. shooting you know? tank's really good. You can, there is no collider on the tree, so you can shoot them through it, but it's, it's a risk. Every time you miss, it rolls a 50-50 on the ducks, and they might fly away. So the uh, shotgun, do you have like a spread going out from it? Yeah, it sends out uh, it sends out five rays, mm. randomly within like a two degree cone or something like that. My left arm gets real tired. <laughs> and the only difference between this and real ski shooting is my left arm gets tired before my right arm does. Whoa. What is this? Oh, it's sucking points. up my score. Dude, See, it is weird, because the dog, the dog is my dog. Well, I don't know, I mean, you, is he working for you or do you work for him? That's the question. I feel like if I was a hunter, I'd have a dog who would pick up the ducks for me. Yeah, normally the dog just goes and picks up the ducks, but this dog is smart, I guess. So he, he doesn't only pick up the ducks, he also drives the truck, he sells them for duck food. So he's, an, he's like an entrepreneur. He's a bit of an entrepreneur, yeah. Okay. Hey, can you play a different game, Nico? Yeah, one second. Triple Tiger, Pizza Boy, Hover Junkers. Dude, I want to see what the old school version of this yeah, is. Yeah, I want to see old school hover junkers. <laughs> oh, nice! <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> this is really cool. Reload, uh -oh. shoot up the screen. <laughs> Dude, there are some people that are like, this game is bugged. I can't figure out how to reload the gun. And they're like, shoot up the screen, you dummy. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, they're like, they don't know how you do that. That's not, that's not they're used it's an to. Old, it's, an old, uh, it's an old tactic. Oh. oh, pop, pop. That's like a legit game right there. Yeah. Is this just the Kazoo Kid video? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's Mike's Kazoo Kid video. The boot loose. Boot loose, get in the frickin' VCR. There we go. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> the, this is like, like, if you don't know, like, about what these videos are, it's like, this is the weird, you're like, what is this collection of videos? <laughs> like, this what? is the weirdest. <laughs> What is this? <laughs> <laughs> we thought they were like, like all the weirdest videos. Like, <laughs> I'm stuck in here. <laughs>
<laughs> like, it's just, it's oh just like you're like, like I'm video. just trying to imagine like someone who d hasn't seen any of these stuff. Like they're like they're like their mind is being blown. Like like this is the, we the weirdest <laughs> video in this game. This is the weirdest video. Oh wow, 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 we. This, this is Mike, so Mike made this video for it. Oh, this video is amazing. You need a soldier with the right tools for the job. Blast into action with the new Shadow Cruiser. When Duminox attacks, Lone Wolf strikes back. Party's over, Duminox. He's bigger, tougher, and more determined than ever. He's the bricks. <laughs> the bricks crashing through the bricks. <laughs> it's, so, it's so good. Oh, mom's on the comp. On the performa. That old apple. Yeah, mom's a, mom's a writer. Ah, uh, I thought she was just playing some PUBG. 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 She's like, should I keep the four X? <laughs> nah, eight X. She's like, do you guys have any of extra five five six? All right, Brandon, you're up. Do you want me in there? All right, all right. Give us a little tour. So you know all the Easter eggs. Oh yeah, I mean we could get we could get real crazy. <laughs> All the real craziness starts right here. Wait, what is this? Want to see this? <gasps> Whoa! Wait, you combine lone wolf and yeah, it's crafting. <gasps> you turn into the mom? Are you the mom? No, no, I'm I'm huge. Oh wait! Now the whole house is tiny. Whoa! Beware the monkey and the cat are tricksters. Greater dangers await you beyond this world. I will contact you again in the next game. Look for my mark. Dude, secrets. And it kind of gives you like the behind the scenes, right? So you can start seeing like, see if you actually go to the garage. Obviously there's nothing, you know? Cause we're in a game, we're in a game world here, right? <laughs> and this effect is like totally different when you're inside the headset compared to like seeing there. Yeah, it's like, yeah, like, everything, you're like a model. everything's like tiny, you know? Oh, whoa. Secrets. Secrets, yeah. I, don't, I wonder if anyone's figured that out yet. What's your theory of like the best VR weapon handling. So what I think is a lot of people look at the the bow and front the bow and arrow from the uh, the lab, right? And they like they're like that feels really good. And that actually does a really similar thing, which is when you try to put the arrow into the back into the bow, it moves towards it. Yeah, it locks it in as it as it moves, right? And so it's, it's so it's like taking that same philosophy and putting there. So it's like you get this visual positive feedback. Well, yeah, you got audio feedback too. You hear the. the you yeah. like grip it, like, and you get a grip. So it should be, it should be audio paired with visual paired with like your action, right? Whoa, whoa. So there's me. I'm sleeping. So this is a dream. This is the dream sequence, yeah. And there's certain objects that if they collide. Oh. It'll put me. Now I'm on the window. What? This is super trippy. Oh, you woke, you woke up. Yep. Whoa. <laughs> that's creepy. Well, he was like staring at you when he woke up too. That's really weird. <laughs> yeah, he looks you, we have eye kate, so he looks you right in the eye. Oh boy. And you have your mess is still there. It's like, was it a dream? Oh, the mess you made is still there. Whoa. <laughs> that's cool. Now that's I'm, I'm, star I'm starting to get this game now. I'm starting to get what it is. I'm starting to understand what this is. What else can you do with that magic book? Here, hold on. The magic book? By using this book, you accept the magical consequences. There's a 666 Wait, 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 wait. It's, con it's got connections to everything. I'll tell you the 666 is a magazine. It's actually GGG. Oh. <gasps> oh. Whoa. Uh-oh. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Whoa. <laughs> Great games galore. Welcome to the Duck Season Virtual Showcase. Now that we have VR, it makes no sense to waste time and money constructing a physical You're in the weirdest place right now. Like visible only to attendees. When we what instead, the fuck? A virtual booth available Here to three. all from the comfort of your home. Oh, dude, it's the show floor of the game. That's really cool, actually. News Channel 6. Dude, there's so many inside references. <laughs> Tonight on News Channel 6 wow, at Steve 6 o'clock. Police now asking for the public's help in solving the mystery behind the disappearance of several families from the Tri-County area. If you know anything, please pick up your phone and dial 911 immediately. Is that Steve Cooch? He, he did the school news with us in high school, and then everyone's like, you have such a good news voice, you should do that professionally. And then he like didn't go to a college for it. And he's like, you know what? Everybody keeps saying that I've got a good news voice. Maybe I should get into doing the news. So he started. So he started doing uh, the news down in Whoa. Georgia and then worked his way over to Phoenix. And now he's in LA now. And which channel? Channel 5? Yeah. Yeah, so now he's one of the KTLA. correspondents in, yeah, in, in uh, KTLA. So he's like reached like, I think that's pretty much the summit. Like if you're in like New York, LA, like that's like, that's, that's some high level. Uh, and there's a phone. 
Yeah, yeah, don't, 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 don't talk to the phone. 911. No, 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 emergency. put it down. Oh, fine, talk to the phone. I'm trapped in the game and I'm going crazy. I need help. Help, I need help, I need help right now, I need help. This game's weirding me out. So you shooting at me from uh, my northwest? I'm gonna try to see if I can shoot. I see them. Go. Maybe not worth shooting at. Let's keep going. Woo! Almost. <laughs> nice. Scared oh, me. Oh wait, a little bit. I thought you. Oh, oh no! Randomly got Twice. shot.